Greg Vaughn in the studio, special guest in here as we do every Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> Lehman Wall, Casey Hooper. What hey, y'all doing? Happy Independence Day tomorrow. <laughs> That's right. We are here almost July fourth, uh, and 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 these two are working anyway. Be careful with the fireworks, please. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. We got some rain last night, but be careful with those fireworks anyway. I was just talking to a fellow before we get came over here, Craig, and we were talking about. The question of whether fireworks are legal, quote, legal to put off in certain parts right. of the county. And we really just wanted to say just because it's legal yeah. to do it in a certain part, it doesn't mean that it's the smartest yeah. decision at this point. In time. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Public service announcement. Yeah, man. Well, you would feel awful if you were driving around. Like all of a sudden you saw firefighters coming in. You would feel awful. See it on the news, and you'd be the one to go, I was, I was out there shooting fireworks off. You know? It's almost like a slap in the face to mm. our people that fight the fire. Yeah. That we've been in this drought for yeah. so long. and I don't know. Just be careful. Enjoy our independence. But uh, there's some people that survive on that yeah. grass. Yeah. We need it. So. Go bang some pots and pans instead. Did y'all do that growing up? I did. New Year's Day, uh, New Year's Day we'd go out on the front. Porch and, and people didn't shoot guns or or fireworks or anything. People, is that a Texas out. thing? I don't, or is it the way? No, this down was in the uh, this was in uh, Baltimore. Okay, so it was uh, out there, and people would go out there on their front porch, and and you just hear people banging pots together and yelling, and see that just sounds like good clean entertainment. Right it, it was just kind of you know I remember being about six seven years old and just being fun if you're a kid you know you love it you're up at midnight for no reason at all apparently you know you don't your understand parents, why you're up. obviously and they tell you, lost their uh, tell you to go out there in the front porch and make a bunch of noise <laughs> were you a drummer <laughs> no. in your previous life oh no we go, bang 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 woo! <laughs> thank god they didn't do that with us because all the cast iron skillets a bunch of kids yeah that's what we had eyes. we had cast iron skillets and uh and pots no wonder you're so buff <laughs> you ought to see craig's guns he's been he's it is like a it's okay you're gonna have buff. people coming to that wrca banquet going where's that craig guy at oh i thought you were buff to see, <laughs> i thought uh, you'd be bigger cast iron skillets <laughs> kind of disappointed <laughs> He can sling a number three uh, like nobody's business. Oh, man. All right. No rodeo this past weekend. No. Nope. Y'all had the weekend off. Yep. No. No Y'all rodeos. do anything? <laughs> Nothing we can talk about on the air, I guess. But um, <laughs> No, we're, we're off this past weekend, but we'll be headed to Council Grove, Kansas, uh, this coming weekend for the Santa Fe Trail Ranch Rodeo. Uh, looking forward to getting back on the road, seeing all the guys. And a really competitive ranch rodeo up there, so we'll bring you the results of that next week. And so we, since we have the week off, since we, since we have these weeks off in between, we like to just catch up on foundation uh, talk and tell people more about the foundation side of the Working Ranch Cowboys Association. And uh, we'll talk to uh, Cody Kendall coming up here on the phone just in just a minute or two. But uh, talk about the foundation. Uh, when did it get started? When did all this? I know. It, or maybe somebody who hasn't ever heard any of this before uh, doesn't understand the foundation part sure. or anything. Talk about that, just the foundation part. Well, the foundation actually is the heart and soul of why we do what we do. Um, so in 2001, the foundation was created a 501c3 in nonprofit status. Mm-hmm. And through that time, it started with small scholarships, $500 one time, a yeah. um, few crises, you know, one-time deal, Mm -hmm. and now we're where we are now due to the success of the World Championship Ranch Rodeo. Yeah, the scholarships, you said that about the one time, and now you guys follow these kids, right, with scholarships through their entire college career. Absolutely. A scholarship um, can start at any time. Uh, There's a misconception there that you have to graduate high school, and those are the only ones that would apply. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, the misconception is is anytime you go back to continue your education, right. you can apply for our scholarship. And we will carry you based on eligibility and that's your full time status for four years. Right. After that four years, <clears throat> excuse me, you could reapply and we'll carry you to your next step. Right. So we've helped kids with medical school, graduate school. Um Yeah, so we're like, okay, so we're like when you're twenty two and you're out there on the field one day 
and you're hot and you fell and you don't feel good, you go, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> go back to school. I want to work in somewhere where it's air conditioned. <laughs> well, <laughs> go be a radio guy. <laughs> I'm going to go be a buff radio guy. <laughs> and I can work at a, you know, cast iron skillet casting factory <laughs> with Craig and be real buff. <laughs> But that yeah. is cool that you do that because a lot of I know a lot of kids probably are just that they get out of high school and they think this is what I want to do and this is and then you kind of start to formulate maybe I don't want to do this maybe I want to get into a different career or maybe I'd like to be qualified enough to help the people mm-hmm. I'm working with or whether it be a veterinary uh, you know way of life or, or whatever something they can do besides uh on on a horseback all day kind of thing. Well, some of these uh, some of these bigger outfits uh, like Swenson just for an example. Mm-hmm. They have such history and longevity with that ranch that a lot of times they have and will allow their manager to go back to RFO program. Mm-hmm. And so with that being said, you know, you're looking down 30 years old, 40 years old, and you're going back to school considered a non-traditional. Right. So you can apply right. for a scholarship. And we'll help you um, based on your credentials and stuff. I mean, we still have a, a process that we have to follow right. under our guidelines. But then, the you know, once we get everything scoped out, then the board has their great challenge. And this year, we picked 33 applicants out of about 75. Well, not That's 33 total. We only picked five. Yeah. But there's 33 total right now, starting in August. That's Existing, a, named, and new. That is, that is a lot. That's a lot of scholarship names. That is great. Mm-hmm. And, awesome. and so the reason we're bringing in Cody Kindle is last week we talked about um, he received the top horse honors, AQHA top horse there at, at Hugo. And I've watched these boys, the whole family grow up, and it's a family team. And uh, his brother, Caden, is actually a scholarship recipient, too, and going through. But Cody, he started out, I believe, and I'll ask him, but I believe he started out at Fort Scott in 2014 on a rodeo scholarship. Mm -hmm. Finished there, went to Panhandle State University, which I have huge acclimates for that, because that's where I called home for a little bit. Yeah. Five years should have been four, but it was five years. Um, <laughs> but a, a great kid and carried a 4.0 the whole way through. Wow. And also day working in that country. Wow. And yeah. also going back and working for his parents. Man. And so. It's a lot of responsibility. It is. And, you know, he, he's just a good kid. Yeah. Just a good kid. And it's a good family. We're going to get him on the phone here. I was going to ask you something to tell us. But uh, we'll wait till we get him on the phone. We'll ask sure. him. So we'll get him. We'll get Cody on the phone here. Hang on, everybody. On the phone, it is. We got Cody Cody Kendall out of uh, uh, Kansas. And uh, Cody, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, sir. How about yourself? I am. I am good. Uh, Casey Hooper's in here, Lehman Wall. Casey's been you know, singing your praises for two weeks now. So we figure since there was no rodeo last weekend, we'll get you on the air this weekend. <laughs> I know. If you and yes, Juice sir. wouldn't have done so good, it wouldn't have lined us up perfectly from <laughs> Hugo. See, it was my right. fault. I, I called you out early or in the week. So I was like, oh, well, you know what? Since we're talking about Cody, I'll just call him. And we'll talk about foundation there stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep, that's good. They, uh, Casey said off the air that you just finished up, man. What you, uh, would you major in? Um, I got a bachelor's degree in animal science. Animal science. What's the, uh, what's the plan to, uh, the next plan, I guess, to, are you using it or is it just, I mean, not everybody who gets a degree actually ever does anything with them except for hanging them up on the wall. Are you, uh, are you moving on into a different profession or what are you doing? No, sir. I've just kind of got it in my back pocket right now. I moved back to Kansas and have been helping my dad full time here at Beachner Brothers Livestock. And Best thing to do. Every kid out, if yep. there's a kid out there listening, go get you a degree, even if you don't use it, at least you have it to fall back on, and it'll give you a better understanding. I'm sure you have a way better understanding of a lot of things that happen on the ranch now. Oh, yes, sir. I got to, got to go to some different areas of the country and work with some different people and see different ways of doing things and also have a lot of fun out while I was in college. So Yeah, but... Well, that place does bring out the fun in you, Cody, and we'll talk, <laughs> yeah. you know, you and I have talked about that out there, but... I know that Calvin, Calvin and Gina, uh, Cody's parents, uh, they're not easy on those boys. Yeah. And they come with a big package of work ethic. So you could place both of them, his brother and himself, 
in any parts of the area. Because I know, oh, back in 2014 when Cody first applied for a scholarship with us, uh, he was doing day work across Kansas and in Nebraska as well. And so these kids are hands. They're they're grown men. Mm-hmm. They, when they were 10 years old, they were going on 30. Yeah. And uh, watch them grow and watch them turn into the men they are today. And I'm glad, I bet you five bucks that your dad and mom are glad you came home, even with a few Mm -hmm. smarts with you. (laughs) I'm sure Calvin was like, well, that's just how it's going to have to be, I guess. Yep, yep. I um. So real quick, so Cody, I I have to kind of brag on him. Anytime I needed something from him or his brother, grades came first while while they were at school. And it carried through the four years that we carried Cody, his 4.0 was, I mean, come on, you know, he started out at Fort Scott. Am I right, Cody? Yes, ma'am. And then he transferred to Panhandle State and he rodeoed, but also was there in the summer with us and worked. And to carry a 4.0, no matter where you go nowadays, is very impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very impressive. And uh, I think your mom rode you a little hard, huh? Yes. Yes, definitely. I would not have had near the grades if it had not been for her. She she had access to all my grades, and if I started slipping, I was getting a phone call <laughs> to make sure that I stayed in line. <laughs> yeah, instead of sitting them with the, you know, a little bit extra pocket money when you drop them off at school, Gina was like, I need your student ID number, please, and your <laughs> password to your deal. Oh, yes, yep. I love you boys, but here we go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it was so impressive that from 2014, when he signed on with us, we, in 2015, going into that next semester of the fall 16, we awarded him the Doc Woyler Memorial Scholarship. And that increased his funding, obviously, on our end. The proof was in the pudding. And these these kids that take this journey with us, um, you can't help but just get to know them. Mm-hmm. It, it helps that we see Beechners down the road. It helps that we see them regu- regularly, however you say that word. But when you see kids with the work ethic and the determination and they're doing the lifestyle we support, it's very encouraging. Mm-hmm. And then top on that, morals and manners. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Cody, what, what do you think growing up, you know, this way of life that we get to be a part of, how has that really helped make you the guy that you are today? What, what has that done for you and what has it taught you? Um, you know, I think growing up, even at a young age, you know, I always, my parents always kind of put, you know, responsibilities on us, you know, as kids, you know, what we always had chores to do and things that were expected of us and just don't see a lot of that anymore nowadays. But once we got out on our own, I mean, we just kind of kept it up and, you know, it helped a lot. Yeah. Something about having that, that responsibility as a youngster that, you know, kind of stays with you. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's probably Casey, what? Yeah, drove Cody to be so successful in college was, you know, it's the way he had been taught his whole life, you mm-hmm. know. And so now Cody gets to help pass that same kind of concept on to whether you know it or not, Cody, people you come in contact with, you know, you're making an influence on them now. Mm-hmm. Other people right. your age, uh, folks that are younger looking up to you. And, um, you know, we've had got a lot of people, I know you know a lot about the foundation. There's a lot of people around the country that that donate and, and give money to the foundation that has helped us fund scholarships and crisis. If if you had one of those donors on the phone right now, what would you say to them as somebody that, you know, got got a little help occasionally from the foundation yourself? Uh, I would give them a great big thank you. I mean, whenever, whenever I graduated college, I did not owe anything on any student loans. I went to college and I was able to you know, pretty comfortably, really. I mean, I set my courses up to where I only went, you know, two or three days a week, and I day work throughout the week. And you know, just not having to take out them loans was was huge. I mean, because you know, I didn't I didn't do this to become rich, and having to having to pay those off would have started me in a pretty big hole right off the bat. But thankfully, I didn't have to do that. It's kind of it's a different angle coming from Cody and I side when you talk to them you know, two or three times a semester. You're talking to these kids and their families for, you know, throughout the year. And they were always Johnny on the spot. You know, um, if they always had their paperwork turned in to me when they needed to, and it helped me stay on, make my job easier, you know. 
I didn't have to go track them down. They were always present. And it's kind of funny, Cody, because it kind of hits an emotional chord with me. You watch these kids and then they graduate. It's like I told Cody, I wanted to come up to there and watch your graduation. Not just because I wanted to drink the cold beer at Goodwill, Oklahoma, but it was really because <laughs> I was proud of you and, and what you've done. And that class that we had that he came in on in 2014 was a good class. You know, and I just, it, I wanted to bring an alumni in here. I wanted to bring someone in that walked the walk with us and just finished fresh and served both sides of that coin with WRCA. And uh, it's just impressive, Cody. And I thank you for your hard work. And I thank you for being patient with me because that's a <laughs> chore in itself. Hey, we feel for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he feels when he sees my number come up or whatever. He's like, oh, it's Casey again. Gina, change the number. Cody, this is a safe place. Anything you say <laughs> will not be held against you. <laughs> right. It's okay. Yes, sir. Well, Cody, I am very proud of you, and it was an honor to walk this walk with you as an individual and as a, a supporter of our foundation and who knows? I might have to lean on you again sometime, but uh, Caden and now his brother holds the holds the crown, and and he really is doing a pretty fine job at K State, carrying a four point oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's just the most talkative dude, huh, Cody? I mean, like yes, he is. Just so a man of, he just won't stop talking. <laughs> it's kind of like me. Kind of want to put us in a shoebox and put us away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Cody, this show would be like 10 minutes if it wasn't for Casey. I'm you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. Cody, yes, you're the man. Tell the family no hi. Problem. Be safe out there today, okay? I sure will. Anytime, Casey. We'll see you down the road. Appreciate you. Yes, ma'am. No problem. Oh, uh, sounds like a good kid. Not, uh, I, yeah, and it's hard to find them that, that don't do tons of, of, actually, you can tell he's a quiet guy. And yes. so it's kind of. It's kind of nice, actually. Yeah, he kind of lets his actions do yeah. his talking for He's him. waiting to be spoken to and asked the question before just jumping in there with stuff, unlike me and Casey. Actually. Well, I know. You said it's actually kind of nice. What do I yeah. do? Just rock the world? I mean, maybe I... No, just have a... Uh, you no, can, it is. You can hear the respect to the phone. Yes. Like in his mannerisms, you know what I mean? That he is not going to interrupt you. He's not going to over-talk you. He's just going to... He's going to wait for you to ask him a question and, and, and he's going to answer it and he's going to wait again for the next question and he's going to answer it. And he's, you know, it's like working so. cattle. Those, that's why they actually do so well at rodeos, I think, is they're patient, yeah. they're calm, they're yep. collective. Yep. When they get the green light, they go. Yep. When out of respect for their dad, you know, yeah. it, yep. it's I'm telling you, man. Yeah, well, we just off the air, we showed Craig a video of Cody uh, in the Brandon up at Hugo, yeah. you know, the horse that he won top horse on. And the exact words, you know, that Craig used to describe it was just calm, cool, and collected. Mm -hmm. And that's just how Cody was. He went in the herd, you know, caught two by the hawks, yep. uh, to the fire. Yep. Never had any, you know, just another day at the office, yep. Casey, for, yep. for him. He's an impressive young man, and uh, he's a good – He's a good ambassador for what the foundation's all about. Oh, very, very good. Yeah. And of course, a uh, big fundraiser for the foundation would be the World Championships. I'm guessing that's the big fundraiser, right, yes. uh, for the year. I mean, there's there's several little ones here and there, but the major one is the World Championships coming up in November, right? That's, that's correct. Yes, yeah. sir. And within that championship, there's fundraisers. Yes, you know, We've yes. got our raffles and then our big silent auction, and, and it is the biggest it's, it's our that, opportunity it's, to really tell our story, yeah. you know, to the to a lot of people. Yeah. And we don't, and it's hard for four days to rush that in. Yeah. Especially with Miss Talkie talking yeah. to here. It's just exhausting. <laughs> By Wednesday, I just don't know. I wish they'd just give me the mayor of <laughs> Whoville and forget about it. That's right. I've been running for office. <laughs> and it's also, it's also a place where they can get more information on the foundation. I do know that, and people are signing up for scholarships and everything else mm -hmm. down there, right? Yes, I actually have a, a lot of students and individual not student well current students but individuals that can pick up the application there right. and ask the questions they need to right we have a tremendous booth set up with great volunteers that are able to answer those questions for mm -hmm. those individuals which then in turn makes my life a whole lot easier yeah and um 
Couldn't do without them. It's coming up. It'll be here, man. The way this year is flying, oh, I can't man. believe we're into July already. Yeah, it's it's uh, crazy. Don't it'll, send crazy. him into a tailspin. He. Just, what is it? Yeah, Calm every down. every day I wake up is a day closer to. Say, uh, do you know November. the days? Do you know it's like say one, two, three, four. No, don't no, 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 no. So, don't count days. No, don't count <laughs> don't days. do that. I'm gonna do that every week. Now, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going mean, to find the exact number now. <laughs> it, regardless of the number of days, they, it can't get here fast enough. Yeah. It's always such a good time seeing all our friends from all over everywhere. And uh, some of the, the, the best folks yeah. you'll ever be around in your life. And so if you have not gotten your tickets, would really encourage you to act quickly. Uh, November 8th through the 11th mm-hmm. are the dates of the performances. Four performances, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and a matinee on Sunday. So lots of opportunity to see the competition, but lots of things going on out there. You can bring the family during the daytime. You don't actually have to have a ticket. You don't pay anything to get in the door. Yeah. You know, lots of shopping and, and kids' activities, You know, something for everybody in the family. Sure, there's a lot of cowboy gear, but you know, there's, there's stuff for the ladies out there, oh, yeah. too, there's, that, that there's, you can take advantage of. I, I've never roped. Anything in my life. Turkeys. Uh, but they were, they were they were coming out of a box, so I don't think that counts. <laughs> uh, uh, and and I always enjoy going down there and, and, and walking through. And I usually end up with a, with a bag of something as I'm leaving. So mm-hmm. I end uh, up with a bag of Amarillo roasted nuts. Yeah. And yeah. Some, uh, yeah. Surreal. From yeah. the Heritage Room. And uh, I got I got chili mix there before. I mean, they yeah. always there's just all kinds of stuff down there. I mean, it's not just cowboy stuff if you're Mm -hmm. you're like i've never roped anything either you know i mean still need to go (laughs) real quick and here i am talking and running for whoville but (laughs) so all these years we had the the vendor uh, amaral roasted nuts jim tiffy was with us since the beginning right all he does is the best dang nuts you could even possibly think of well now we lost jim three years ago but his son james is picked it up. No oh, cool. And that was one of the first things when, when Jim passed away. I had people calling going, well, will Anamarillo Roasted Nuts be there? I'm like, yes, they will be there. Still be, yeah, exactly, yeah. They will still yeah. be there. Mm-hmm. You know, so, part of the family. So back real quick on scholarships. So if anyone is interested in receiving an application, applications will go out in January, or I can send you one now. Right. Um, there just might be some tweaking that takes place throughout the rest of the year, but... I will uh, be more than happy to send you one, and it lists our guidelines and the qualifications. So if anyone has any questions or whatever, just give me a call at the office. There you go. Uh, yeah, WRCA.org, uh, the place to go. There's a link to buy tickets for the rodeo on there. There's more information about the foundation and membership and a link to shopping. And there's also a great link to, uh, at the very top, World Championship underneath their event information. There's like an hour by hour breakdown of everything going on. There's a uh, book your hotel link with all the hotels that are kind of associated with the mm-hmm. with WRCA. So you'll get a nice picture view, and you can book yeah. them right there. Greg, that's a that's a big item. Yeah. the hotel deal. We need to take a little time and on that one. The booking service that we have on our website that is the the place to get the cheapest rates from the best hotels mm-hmm. in Amarillo. If you call those hotels directly and don't go, th- go through that booking service, you will not get the best rate. Yeah. So it's important if you're coming to see us, go to WRCA.org and use our event uh, hotel booking service. It is the cheapest place to get those rooms. There are all different prices, by the way, too. I see one for forty eight ninety nine, and I've seen one for 134 So do any any budget you might be on, like, well, there's one for one seventy four. So it doesn't matter what budget you're on. You want you want the, uh, the the top of the line, or are you just like, man, we just need to spend as little money as possible while we're in Amarillo because we're going to buy all kinds of stuff at the store. <laughs> yeah, I just need a place to lay my head for exactly. an hour so I could go back yeah. out to Hoots or wherever else they yeah, go. Yeah, exactly, after. <laughs> exactly. I'm not speaking from gonna, experience. I'm only going to be there for about three hours a night anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. The water runs. No, yeah. we, we've got good accommodations, yeah. very yeah. good accommodations. We try to do what we can for the, the general public and also for our contestants come and join us. And uh, I bet you, let's maybe we should put a bed out. I wonder if Beechners, they're hungry. There's, they're, there's, they're hungry. Yeah. You yeah. might see that scholarship recipient and his brother here. That's cool. Again. Yeah. yeah. They're hungry. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Check them out, wrca.org. And we appreciate you guys for coming in every week, man. Yeah, thanks Keep for the opportunity, today. Craig. Next week we'll have – there's there's my outro. Next week we'll have uh, – we'll be talking about the uh, Santa Fe Trail Ranch Rodeo in Council Groves, Kansas. Oh, the best strawberry pie at the Hayes House. <laughs> if you can, will you please bring me a piece back? I don't think it would make it home, Casey, but I'll yeah, try. But I'll oh, try. You can go in there before the rodeo, make your order – and they will save it for you. Yeah, but you still won't make it home. No. no, we have Yeti How coolers. That drive? <laughs> no, Yeti has a very good cooler that keeps it cold. Yeah, just cold enough for rest stops. That and Yeti cooler does not have a lock on it that I can't get into. That pie is not going to make it home. Well, they will. 